All right, what's up, children of the sun? This is your metaphysical advisor, Montre Bible. We are doing a monthly reading for cancers for the next 30 days. Uh, depending on when you watch it, that's up to you. 30 days for you, okay? Just count 30 days out. We're right now in the middle of the month. Uh, it's a month four. It's The energy is about working. It's about stability. Uh, very much a very cancer energy. Um, if you feel like staying home, stay home. But it's also about stability, so working toward your stability and the things that you want. Cancer, you're really good at that. Wouldn't worry too much. Next month, we have, call your mother if you need to. Of course, this could be your energy as well. She just popped on out, said. <laughs> um, cancer, uh, it's, uh, next month will be more fun, lighthearted. Um, a time to have a good old time. So the energy should switch up a little bit for a lot of people. Um, if you've been seeing like, like it's been kind of stressful this month. Next month will be a whole lot more fun. Just how the energy is. That's numerology. I'm going to look into, oh, the four pentacles falls out. I don't know why these cards are falling out for you. Talks about letting go of something. What do you need to let go of, Cancer? Uh-oh, the cards are talking. Okay, so this is a general reading. <laughs> Before I start, my disclaimer. It's a general reading, Cancer. So if you need something more personal, be sure to hit the links in the description. Um, and book a reading, and I will look into it. This is for Cancer Sun, Moon, and Rising. Um, always check your rising sign if you don't know it. Uh, there's a website called astro.com. Really great website. I love it. I use it for myself. So I share it with you. Okay, so. <sighs> Angel Spirit Guys Ancestors, creator of all. Please give me insight for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the next 30 days. Thank you. Let's look at this thing. Those jumpers, man. What was going on with that? Let's see what else is going on. One more time. All right. We have the Queen of Pentacles crossed by the Ace of Wands. Now, the Queen of Pentacles right now is reversed, which means it talks about a little bit of insecurity. Watch out for um, being insecure about little things and also being tired. The Ace of Wands, and it came out reversed, which is not good either. Insecurity and feeling tired. So um, ask yourself right now, what are you feeling insecure about? Is there something that's draining your energy that's making you more tired, um, making you a little bit more unstable? This also could be instability and financial issues. In the recent past, you've been doing pretty well, Cancer. You've been winning with the Six of Wands, coming future, the Seven of Cups. You have some choices to make, okay? You have a lot of options coming up, and you may be tired, but there are some things. You're learning new things with the Princess of Swords, uh, keeping your mind sharp. At the root of it, you have a lot of mental peace. You've taken some breaks. So... Um, if you feel like you need to take a break, Cancer, this is a great time to do it. The Six of Swords says, focus on your mental health, okay? This is about, if you feel tired, if you feel tired, Cancer, focus on your mental health. You're learning new things. You're doing, you're staying sharp, you know, you're focusing, you want to do more at least. But the mental health is always important. So, um, I feel like... In the future, you're going to have some options coming up. Also, this is a very daydreamy energy as well. Let's see what else is up. But the daydreamy energy, and it's kind of like um, you may have options or you're trying to fantasize of what you want to do. I don't see the next 30 days being a very strong month of doing things. It looks like you're just kind of chilling out, resting, looking at your options. Uh, you may have to go back on something that you decided. The, the judgment card is reversed in your energy. So you may have made a decision about something and you say, oh, wait, I need to go back and do that again. The energy around you is the Eight of Pentacles. Um, this could be people around you or that um, somebody's focused on you, okay? Uh, this could be anything, really. The, the Eight of Pentacles could be somebody focusing on you for a job opportunity, um, love, anything, really. I don't see a lot of love cards here, so I'm going to say that it could be financial, that someone's focused on you, um, trying to perfect something. Uh, you're letting go of a lot of your fears and worries, Cancer. You're doing well. The Nine of Swords is reversed. There's a lot of things that you could stress you out, but you seem to be um, not letting it bother you. And at the end of the day, we have the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands talks about uh, really independence, being very strong, um, Attractive energy, 
um, really ruling your world. What's at the bottom? The Prince of Swords. A lot of mine, uh, all these swords keep popping up, which means there's some quick energy happening. There's something about somebody wanting to communicate with you. Somebody's coming in really quickly. Uh, Eight of Cups, someone leaving. Someone may be leaving a situation and coming toward you. If this is love related, someone's leaving an old situation and coming towards you because they see that you're better. They may have not been talking to you with this Eight of Swords. They may have been separated from you for a minute. And they're, they're kind of like the Nine of Wands. This is for people who, have, who are having love issues. This looks more love related. Or someone's not communicating to you. They've been kind of in their own head. They've been kind of um, separated from you. Um, they may have some unhappiness. They took their love away from you. Okay, but they want a new beginning. I feel there's someone in your life that's been a very emotionally distant, but they're very focused on you. And this may have stressed you out. This is all on the bottom of the deck. So this is hidden energy. This is somebody else um, that could be affecting indirect energy that could be affecting the situation. So someone's been emotionally distant from you, and this may have been draining for you, made you feel a little insecure because they're not really expressing what they feel. They're not really telling you anything, but they are coming in very quickly. Looks like they had to close a chapter or something uh, in order to get their cancer. So um, I want to, but you seem to be at peace. Um, you're going back though, and maybe maybe you made a judgment about this person, and you're saying, oh, wait a minute. Um, maybe I made the false judgment about this person, and I want to open my mind back up to this situation. Let's clarify the Seven of Cups with all these options you have. Clarify the Seven of Cups for me. Just kind of sticking out in my head right there. The five of staffs no longer wanting to play the game. World card starting a new beginning chapter and seven of cups uh, focused on someone. Okay, so looks like if this is a, a emotional issue or a, an, a dating issue, Cancer, you've been out in the dating game. You've been focused or not. You've been out in the dating game and been looking at your options, okay? And this is just coming energy. But you don't want to play anymore. You don't want to be all out there doing that. You don't want to be looking at other folks. Um, so this new chapter, this world card is a new chapter beginning. Uh, you're starting something new uh, in the next couple of months or next month, next 30 days. And you're focused on one particular individual. It looks like you have your mind made up. You're looking at your options, but you have your mind made up. Now, if this is some type of other business-related issue, this is um, if it's not love and it's a business-related, then you're more focused um, you have a lot of options of what you can do. So overall, you have a lot of options of what you can do, but you seem to have uh, something is happening to make you focus on one particular one. Let's clarify the judgment card reverse. But you seem, but it's caused you a little bit of insecurity because it's a little draining just to think about it. Your energy is kind of low right now. Take care of your mental health, though. Yeah, my main thing is when I see that is to take care of your mental health if you've been feeling low, feeling drained and like, oh gosh, I don't want to think about this sometimes our emotions, because cancer you are a water sign, your emotions can take your energy out yeah, you made up maybe a false judgment about some type of commitment okay, you've been on the defense uh, with your emotions which is pretty cancerian, but right now you have the king of cups which tells me that you're feeling very stable emotionally about what you want. You want that four of staffs. The four of staffs is you want happiness, you want marriage, you want a commitment. Um, if you have it or if you don't have it, it's still a want, it's a desire. But you made a false judgment in regards to maybe a particular individual. But someone is focused on you. So let's clarify their energy with that eight of pentacles. Who is focused on cancer? The knight of swords. Once again, they're coming in very fast. Uh, they have to end something with the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Coins reverse. Okay, so this is, someone is coming in very quickly, okay? They want to communicate with you, Cancer. But the thing is, they have to end something in their life, okay? I don't know what they have to end. That's different for everybody. But they're trying to end something with the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Pentacles reverse talks about stability. Um, this could be uh, someone that you could go into business with. Also, the Ten of Coins talks about just longevity, uh, a concrete, stable connection, but there's still some problems here. There's some problems with this connection. 
there's some work that needs to be happening with the Ten of Coins reverse. You may have someone who's almost there. Maybe they have financial issues. Maybe they're, I don't know. Let's see. Let's clarify. Yeah, they're going through a renewal stage. They need to end something to begin something. Um, this can be a stable connection. They're just going through a renewal process. So we have the renewal card. They're going through a point. I don't know if you can see that. Nice focused. Yeah. They're going through a stage where they have to be reborn <clears throat> before they can have the stability. You may be dealing with a fire sign. Uh, Aries. Sagittarius. What is the other fire sign? I'm sorry. I am just had a brain fart. What's the other fire? Leo. Okay. Thank you. Okay, because the end, end result is the Queen of Wands. is a very attractive person, someone that is like, woo! They bring people into them, okay? This is the type of person that this is. So let's clarify this Queen of Wands with the outcome. If everything keeps going as it is, if it's not a fire sign, it could have people who have fire sign aspects. So we have, oh, yeah, you're going to go toward this person. The Five of Cups tells me this is a person who's lost or you've been... Or this person felt lost, okay? They felt like they lost you. The Ace of Coins, a new opportunity, uh, something more stable in judgment, which means that maybe they have to make a judgment on you. But with you being the judgment reverse, it looks like a, a positive judgment toward a relationship or toward a good connection is coming toward with this person, which is the who's the Queen of Wands, who has this very passionate, attractive, sexy energy. They bring in, they bring in, they have options, of course. Queen of Wands energy always has options. This person always has options. But they, I think they really do want you, Cancer. They want this uh, connection with you. It looks like they're making that judgment that they will be coming in. Yeah, but <clears throat> the energy around you is that they want to talk, they want to communicate. Like I said, that, that Prince of Wands is a re repetitive, especially with their energy. They're coming in really quick. They want to talk, but they got to end something. They, yeah, and they've been kind of like, on guard, basically. Uh, you're dealing with someone who's really stuck in their head about stuff. Really stuck in their head. But they're very upset about something that happened in the past with that Six of Cups. And this is why they left. But they want a new beginning with you. They just, ooh, they're so emotionally distant and defensive. Ooh. But they want that Ten of Pentacles. Look at their Ten of Pentacles pops right back on up. Now, whether it can be work, work, ugh, excuse me, whether it can work between you two, that's between your personal stuff, that's your personal reading. So we'll check more into that if it'll work out if you decide to focus on this person. But it seems to have been draining your energy of whether you want to be with this person or not. They're just going through a renewal stage. But you're second guessing yourself. Okay. Moon card. New moon in Cancer. All right. You're having a new beginning. This is, uh, could be, um, if this is not a lover, this could be a family member as well. Someone maybe that you fell out with. Because anytime I get a lot of cancer energy, uh, this could be a family member. Easily. Or if, if it is a spouse, a spouse could be family as well. But this is someone who is definitely very independent and very defensive. Um, okay? So keep that in mind. It doesn't have to be a lover. It can be a, a family member. <clears throat> I keep getting on guard. This person's on guard, or you may be on guard about things. Time for a beginner mind. You have the porcupine. Porcupine always has these little, um, what do they call them? Stick needles, needles on their back. And this one, look at there. He has to put his needles down in order for you to start a new beginning. And for cancer, you have your shell. In order for you to start a new beginning with this person, you have to put your defenses down. They have to put their defenses down. And like, let's start over. Let's renew ourselves, okay? Let's start over from the beginning and see how we can um, come to some type of compromise. So this is with anybody that you're dealing with in your life that you may have made a judgment about, that you're going back and saying, all right, well, maybe we need to try to work this out. Okay? You looked at your options, and now you're focused on them. This also could be someone that you just can't get off your mind, you've been dreaming about, you've been having dreams about them. Let's see. Protest. Protester card. This means to speak your mind. This is a time to communicate. What I'm seeing here is also is a lack of communication between two people 
where someone's very stuck in their head, they're being emotionally distant, they're not talking. This is the time to look at this person. If you need to yell and scream, yell and scream. Like, say what's on your mind. This is not a time to say, oh, I'm going to hold back because I don't want to be emotional around this person. No, I think if there's something that needs to be said, it needs to be said. Um, like I said, you do want this happiness. I think you're very much in control of your emotions at this time. And you want to have this happiness with this person, whether this is someone you're married to or want to be married to. You want this. There's a new beginning trying to happen between you two. So let it happen, you know? But you got to put your defenses down, you know? You can't be like, okay, I'm still upset. You can be still upset and just in a rational way, tell them why. Okay. Because it looks like, yeah, they are focused on you now. Do you see how that energy shifts? Like, I think, you know, sometimes we have where someone's not focused on us, and then we take our we take our energy away, and then all of a sudden, they become focused on us again. It's like, oh. But I know that you are tired. So, with the, with the tired of the same old, same old, before you start that, I would make sure that you do get your rest. You do, um, I think you've already been doing it, though, honestly. <clears throat> you got into a place of mental peace. And that's affecting their energy as well. Okay, let's get an angel for you. Sorry, I'm just reading so much more when I see these cards. Yep, peace. This is what I'm getting. It's time to make peace. Time to make peace. Look at this. I don't know if you can. It's so blurry. Let me see that. Well, it's a dove, okay? <laughs> it's the angel giving you a dove. Peace comes when remembering that only love is real. What else can I tell you, Cancer? Um, it's, it's a time to make peace with someone. It's time for a new beginning. Um, I feel like anytime you love somebody, especially you, Cancer, it's someone that feels like family. And that's why maybe um, I'm getting that familial feel. <laughs> You know, where you're having to say, okay, let me let go of this old shit that I'm feeling about you. I made a false judgment about you. Let me go back and say, all right. Because they're trying to end old behavior. I see that. They're trying to end some things. And there's, they still have a long way to go before they can be stable. They're not quite stable yet, but they're going through a renewal stage. And they are highly attracted to you. And they do feel lost. And they want a new beginning. That Ace of Pentacles. They want something more stable. Also, some of them may be offering you money. Uh, Ace of Pentacles can easily be new money, new opportunities. Maybe just a new, more stable opportunity. And they're making that judgment call as well. So, look forward to some new communication. A new beginning regarding a person in your life that you really, really, really care about. That you maybe have not been distant with. Okay? That's what I see for you. So, Cancer, I hope that it resonates with you. Go ahead and hit that like button for me. That really helps out my videos. Uh, subscribe. Hit that bell. <laughs> what the hell? Hit that bell uh, so you get notifications. And if you need a personal reading, I'm here for you. Just uh, go ahead and book it, and we will look more into your personal situation. Look into your person and see what the hell is going on with them. Okay? <laughs> All right. So make your reality happen because if you don't do it, then who will? I will talk to you guys later. Peace out.